Minasan, konnichiwa. My name is Matt Takahara. I'm an interpreter and gunner with the Matsumoto Castle Gunko, and today we're exploring a old Takeda supply roof. And I'm not just riding on my own today, I've got Akinodoza with me, and we're gonna have a look at this supply route and talk about some of the uh, important factors of making a supply route before actually going to war. Logistics and transportation is a vital part of warfare, and before any of the famous battles of the Warring States era could have been fought, it was necessary for commanders and captains to get their forces into position. And today I'm exploring a supply road created by Takeda Shingen for his invasion of Shinshu. The famous samurai Takeda Shingen was a scholar of um, war, and in that respect, he read a lot of uh, Sun Tzu's work. And Sun Tzu spoke in great detail about the need to uh, use terrain to your advantage, to supply your troops, and to also be able to outmaneuver the enemy. So let's look in a little bit of detail about um, what the art of war says and, and what Takeda Shingen applied during his invasion of Shinju. Enemy commanders will be trying to guess what your next move is, so they will be trying to see the situation through your eyes. They would expect you to come by a certain route, calculating your speed based on the size of your force. That is why you need to have well-trained troops who can exceed the enemy's estimations. Your task as a commander is to guess what the enemy has guessed about you and to try to do something different, and to appear where you're not expected from. This is one of Sun Tzu's key lessons. So here we are uh, at the road that Akira Shinye created when he decided to attack Shinshu. And this road is the road that A common tactic in warfare is to take an unexpected route and it's worked historically, it worked in Shinshu here, it worked for the Germans when they attacked uh, France and outflanked the Maginot Line by going through the Ardennes Forest and it worked for General Schwarzkopf when he did that big left hook in the Gulf. So one of the key aspects of the Sun Tzu's art of war is to actually try and establish a route which you can use that the enemy who you're planning to attack or are engaged with don't know about. Now it's important to move through this kind of terrain as quickly as possible. You don't want to be spotted in this terrain, it gives the enemy an opportunity to respond to your build-up of forces. But it's also exhausting moving a large number of troops through this kind of terrain. So you need to get your troops into position in as good a condition as possible. So creating roads like this in unpredictable areas is actually quite a smart strategy when it comes to deploying your forces ready for war. So one of the main advantages of using uh, horses in warfare is that enhancement of the mobility. However, during the feudal age, the samurai were the only caste that were actually allowed to ride horses. They were the ones who could afford the horses and could afford to have land to graze the horses and afford to pay people or to have tenants that would look after the horses. So whereas horses were a common part of warfare, they were only common for the samurai and that caste. Do not linger in territory in which you are expecting to be attacked. The danger could be anything from a flank attack to a full frontal attack or an ambush. If it is obvious that your forces are going to be attacked or there is the risk of an attack, then extra scouts should be put into position to ensure that you have that extra screen of safety. Even though large supply routes like that uh, we just travelled on existed, you also had to deploy forces into the flanks, into the woodlands like we're walking in right now. And the reason is because you're looking out for spies, you're looking out for informants, people that might be able to give away your position or relay that information to enemy forces about your build-up. One of the most famous battles, or sets of battles during the Warring States era was the Battle of Kawanakajima, which is actually an area in Shinshu. In order to prepare for this battle, Takeda Shingen moved his forces through unoccupied territory. This is because it is better to take an indirect route through an area offering little or no resistance than to take a well-defended direct path. The route that Takeda Shingen created still exists today, and I asked Akinoroza what she thought about the route. So in conclusion, you need to work with the terrain and not against it. You need to know about what kind of terrain you're moving into. You need to send in scouts to assess the terrain to give you a better understanding of how to move through it. And finally, you need the right kind of equipment and the right kind of training to move large bodies of troops through that terrain. <laughs> 